There's this old Georgia boy I know named Kyle. Right now he's thinking, that damn fool's gonna shoot his camera and his chronograph, and he may get that camera downstream too. Kyle, this is for you, buddy. If I shoot it, if I don't, it's for me. All right, let's see how these, these are 4.9 greens at 700 X. It's hotter than a pistol out here, so let's see if the old fat man can hold a beat on that target. y'all are still here I think I got by with that one all right so now that the shooting's over let's examine what we know about what we just did take a look at all the evidence about this load first of all is let's, let's look at what the chronograph recorded first shot 930 oh, turn this thing over here 913, 911, 921, 895. Oh, that looks like a low. 911 again, 913, 918, 924, getting up high there, 932. That's not too bad a spread. High of 9.32, our low is 8.95, average is 9.16. Okay, so every one of those shots, according to our calculations in the first video, I believe it was, are, are a major power factor, so we're good to go with that. Uh, let's look at the deviation. Extreme spread is 37. Standard deviation is 10. That, that ain't bad. That's not bad. But here's the thing that I consider right now, what I'm thinking is, uh, since I'm going to make these in volume on the lock and load press, the powder throw over there is going to give me a two-tenths variation. So it'll if I got it dialed in real good at, 4.9 grains, I'm going to see 5 grains, I'm going to see 4.8 grains. So uh, the next thing I have to do is I've got to make some 5 grains up, take a look at those, see how high they go, take a look at their pressure. Are they making too much pressure on the primer signs? You know, because I've got a deal in reality here, that lock and load press is not a press that's going to make custom ammunition like Uncle Jim does one at a time and hand weighed. We're in mass production here, not a handful at a time, you know. To, cause, see, Uncle Jim, he's after a one-hole target, and so you have to be anal to the maximum about your pile of charge, your cramp, all that stuff. But I can't afford to do that uh, for this application because 
after all, I need to make them in mass in order to do practice. So that's some considerations right there. The other thing is, is what do the primers look like for this amount of pressure? Or I should say this amount of speed. <clears throat> all right, here's our primers. I've already looked at them, so there's nothing in there that gives me any indication that I'm going over pressure. They've got nice rounded edges. I don't have uh, any extrusion around where the primer, uh, around where the firing pin hit the primer, so they're not trying to backflow into the breech face. So I'm calling all these good as far as pressure goes. I have no way of knowing other than looking at this. The other thing is, is uh, I think our high was somewhere around 924 or 34. And here on this load with this Lyman grease groove bullet, it's saying that 5.2 grains will make 940. So here we're running 4.9 grains and we're almost at that 940 mark already so what does that tell me it tells me that little powder groove that powder groove that little powder coated lyman uh i mean holy boy that powder coated lee 452 200 tumbleu bullet is making better pressure than what that Lyman 452460 above it can do. The one above it has more drive band surface lengthwise from the base to the edge of the uh, bullet where the me plat starts. It's actually longer so you would think well that's that's going to put more resistance uh, to the powder charge. When actually that little tumble loop job there is showing us already that it can seal the barrel better at this lead mixture at the size that it is it's sized at four five two three and it's making better pressure so it's developing better pressure before it gets out of the barrel and gets higher speed so i would say that i could go higher with this and faster but i don't want to i don't want the extra recoil and uh, it depends now I'm gonna I'll look at some five grain loads because after all if I choose 4.9 on the lock and load then I have to know except the fact that I'm gonna get some five grain loads in there if you know as long as that uh, powder drops doing its job and it's only making a variation of two tenths high and low off center then I've got to be prepared to be running five grain loads too. So from here, there's a lot of mulling to do, a lot of thinking about it. I'll have to, you know, do some more loads and look at them. The groups weren't too bad. Um, I, it's not my best day of shooting, but it's not my worst either. And that's free-handed. And I'm, I'm happy with what I got out there, but I know I can do better. So I want to see... Can I really group them better with a bunch of 4.9 great loads? You know, all that's in the future. So nothing's really decided here. I've just got some parameters to work between now. And that's, I guess that just about sums it up unless I'm thinking of something later. So thanks for watching this and appreciate it. All right. See you later, fellas.